Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a good, safe weekend and you're all staying healthy. I just wanted to put together this short little video to explain a little bit about how we are going to continue class given that we are moving to online distance learning. Despite my best efforts, I have to rely on technology. I know this is a proud day for many of you, but not for me. Alas, we move forward. We are going to continue reading going through Romeo and Juliet. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do it the same way we are. We did it in class with you all taking time to act out scenes. But I want to try to mimic that the best way I can. So right now, I just want to tell you my plan of how we're going to be doing this. First, tomorrow, it's not quite a day of school. Holy Family will be open from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. If you are going to be on campus, I would encourage you to stop by to talk to me in room 207. That's not where we normally meet, but that's where my desk will be. Please come talk to me, especially if you would like your poetry test. I'm finally able to give those to all of you. I know your grades have been posted on PowerSchool, but I would like to give you your tests back. So if you are on campus, please stop by to pick up your test and feel free to discuss it with me and if you have any questions. Secondly, Tomorrow, I will be posting a calendar for the next two weeks that will be a breakdown of your reading schedule and of all assignments and other things I'm expecting from you. So how are we going to continue Romeo and Juliet? Two things. One, you are still responsible for filling out the reading comprehension questions as well as the literary device chart. I'm going to help you through that via online lecturing. The way we're going to do this is I am going to actually record one of the movies of Romeo and Juliet. It's by Zeffirelli. It's one of the better adaptations. Um, it is a little bit older, so bear with the technology and the scenes and the acting, but it really, I believe, captures Romeo and Juliet, especially in the vein that we've been discussing it. It shows two lovers who are driven by their passions rather than authentic, true, genuine love and I think this adaptation really shows that. I would like you, as I show you the movie through online videos, I would like you following along in your book to make, to make sure you're following the readings. The way I'm going to help you understand Shakespeare's language and identify literary terms and devices is I will periodically be stop, I will periodically stop the movie and I will record a voiceover to help you decipher the language and to annotate your books and identify all the necessary elements that you need. So it'll be similar to in class where we have students acting it out and I pause you and then I help explain the lines we just read. I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing. You'll be watching the movie, the movie will pause and you'll hear my voice explaining different things as we go along. I encourage you, if I'm moving too fast, this is great. You have the power to simply pause the video I post online, write down, annotate whatever you need, and then continue when you're ready. The majority of what you will be doing, similar to how we get almost everything done in class, same thing. You can get everything done within the video that I post. We will be working on Romeo and Juliet for a while. I'm hoping to finish and get through as much material as possible. I'm hoping that we get close to the end of the book in two weeks. But right now, what you, can, what you can focus on is simply catching up if you haven't caught up with literary terms or the reading questions through Act 2, Scene 2, which would be Act 2, Question 1 in your reading guide and making sure you go back and have, you have all of your literary terms identified. Starting on Tuesday, it'll be a purple day, I will post the first video for the next step in our reading. Again, I will be showing the video, showing the movie through a video pausing and explaining certain lines. However far I get in the video is how far you should get in your comprehension questions and in your literary terms devices. We are going to just simply going to continue that method throughout the entirety of Romeo and Juliet until we finish. Your literary terms, charts, and your reading comprehension questions you should still be doing directly on the packets I gave you at the beginning of this unit. I do anticipate that at some point in the next few weeks, we will, we will return to school physically, at which time I will collect your literary terms and reading comprehension questions. Please do not wait to the last minute to complete those. This assignment is a large unit long assignment. It will be worth a lot of points. And if you wait to get it done, you will 